Good day. This is the Valder BV Show, live from Dallas, Texas, on a global platform. Who do I have with me? I'm Dr. Elizabeth Hale, and I'm a dermatologist in New York City. Well, thank you. You're the perfect person to talk to with this dry, itchy skin because of the weather. Dr. Hale, what's the secret to looking ageless? So I'm discussing a study that was performed by Olay Skin Care in conjunction with Harvard Medical School and a personal genetics company, 23andMe. And they found that there are some women that really do seem to defy the aging process. Um, they looked at women of different ethnicities spanning about six decades of life, and they found that some women appear to age slower than the average woman uh, due to a specific fingerprint or the pattern of gene expression. That being said, regardless of our genetic profile, there are other things that we can do to take care of our skin to help slow down the aging process. Okay, so 23andMe did this survey and they looked at women uh, over six decades, as you said, and they found that some women age slower. Okay, was there any particular group that aged slower or faster? So they found that aging started in their 20s and really carried on you know, throughout the next six decades. And there are very specific things that start to slow down as we age. Um, they did look at Caucasians and African Americans, and that data is completed. They're still looking at Asians and Hispanics. They did find on average that African American women do age at a slower process by about 10 years. And we think some of that is from increased melanin production in the skin that helps to protect our skin from things like sun damage and sun exposure. But also it's probably more than that, probably a different expression of antioxidants. So for example, women as young as their 20s start to deplete their natural antioxidant production, which is why it's really important for, you know, regardless of your age, even young women, and regardless of your skin type, Supplementing with an antioxidant can be really helpful to help slow down the aging process. Today I'm talking with a leading dermatologist, Dr. Elizabeth Hale. Dr. Hale, let me ask you, what are some of the things if we didn't uh, get blessed with the slow, slow down gene, <laughs> what can we do? Right, so most of us do not have this you know, genetic blessing, but there are really important things we can do to help slow down the aging process in our skin. You know, first basic things like eating a healthy diet with a lot of colorful foods, because the more colorful a food is, the more antioxidants that it has. Drinking a lot of water, getting plenty of rest, exercise, sunscreen every single day, uh, even when it's not so warm and sunny, because those UV rays penetrate right through clouds and windows. And then finding a product that contains specific ingredients that help can slow down the process. So I like to recommend Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. Olay did this study with uh, 23andMe and with Harvard and really identified ingredients that can help slow down the aging processes. So specifically, uh, Olay does contain hyaluronic acid, which, which helps to hydrate the skin, aminopeptides that help to support collagen production, and niacinamide, or vitamin B3, which helps to speed cell turnover and help to even out our complexion. So really, regardless of your skin color, regardless of your age, taking good care of your skin can help to slow down the process and keep your skin to look as healthy and youthful as possible. Dr. Hill, was this study published where we could go online and look at it? Uh, you can find it online. It was most recently in both Marie Claire magazine as well as Nature, which is a scientific publication. Um, the data is still being worked out for the uh, Asian and the Hispanic subgroups. The Caucasian and African American data is complete. So it will be an ongoing research study, but it was presented um, this summer at the dermatology meeting, and it can be found online because it was published in Nature as well as Marie Claire. And where can we find out more about you as a leading dermatologist, Dr. Hale? Oh, that's nice. So uh, I'm Dr. Hale in New York City. I'm vice president of the Skin Cancer Foundation. So there are some really helpful tips on skincancer.org, as well as olay.com, where you can see more specifics about the study, as well as some more product information. Dr. Elizabeth Hale, thank you so much. This is exciting news. Please come back and talk about it as you find out more from the other groups. I we sure all want will. to know how to age less. Thank you. Thanks so much, Valder.